So here we have the latest version of the Indulgence Mutation X and this is the version 4, the most recent one out. It's still fresh in the box I might add. Uh, I haven't got round to open this up because I've been so busy but that's just an excuse not to do a review on some kit. So let's get it out of the box and uh, get the bits out shall we? So here we have it, the ins and outs and accessories of the Mutation XV4. Um, we have a cooling ring according to the instructions. Obligatory blue screwdriver, spare screws, spare o-rings and these things which I will come on to later. And also we have lovely pictured instructions. Get it right round dude. There we go. Lovely instructions. Very nice. Description of airflow which we will move on to. And the instructions even give you a safety notice. Yeah. A safety notice. Uh, making sure that you're safe. Battery safety is the most important part of making more vapour. Uh, please note your battery's capability. That's a very, very good piece of advice. And it also recommends that you don't fire lower than 0.2 ohms. Now most of the time I see that sort of device on regulated mods and not on uh, RDAs but we'll see what happens when I coil it up but let's have a closer look shall we get the box out of the way oh and also if and also styrene out and foam out of the way we have a 510 drip tip attachment and I'll show you how that goes together in a minute let's get all the dust off and right now I'll use it as a little stand so just like with the mutation X uh, v3 and v2 uh, here we go as a as a comparison uh, uh, as a comparison, V2 on your right, V4 on your left. And as with both of them, the airflow control rings come off. Nice and simple. Very similar designs. Uh, yet again, the V2 on your right v4 on your left uh, very similar in design but the difference here is that you've got a, an ever so slightly different proprietary drip tip the proprietary drip tip come on Ridian it's not that late in the day and uh, it's a little it's a lot wider at the bottom than it is the top but it looks very very similar getting the line red very similar to the v2 so let's see how similar it is take the one off the v2 yeah it looks similar but it's obviously wider at the bottom i can't fit that. can't fit the v4 tip into the v2 but the V2 will still come as a good comparator, I think. Um, so, what have we got here? Let's have a look at the inside, shall Very we? Very deep juice well. Let's see. So, I've got in a little bit closer. Unfortunately, I can't do it with manual zoom because I'm just using a very nifty webcam. Uh, so, let's get out of the way and let's have a look at the actual deck of the uh, V4. As you can see, four post holes, pause in the middle, neg on the outside, and if you can see through the bottom. Oh no, 
uh, get in line with you can see through the bottom you can clearly see light through the bottom that means that there's airflow coming through that means there's airflow coming through from the bottom and not just from the sides and we still have the nine nine holes on each side yeah so that's 18 air holes on each side and also you've got the airflow at the bottom so let's take the entire airflow ring out and all you need to do is put, give it a little push so this is the actual deck itself very nicely made and stainless steel and nice rubber o-rings to make sure the airflow control this thing stays where it's supposed to be um, so yeah and the thing I like about this at a first look is that you've got very lovely normal and I have to stress normal Phillips head screwdrivers screwdriver heads no Phillips head screws yes that's it because I've got the version 2 and that's what I have to deal with oh let out of focus Whoa. that's what I have to deal with I have to deal with proprietary triangle allen key type screws and basically if you lose that allen key you 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 you're stuffed so the version 3 changed these screws to Phillips heads and that's the remaining feature in the V4 too which is always a plus so um it looks like it's got a very very deep juice well um, oh, but uh, let's let's see what we can do with the cotton eh? I'm gonna carry on filming uh, actually no I'm not I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut away I'm gonna do a coil I'm gonna do one uh, in cancel and then um, I'm gonna do one in nickel because yes I do have a DNA 40 get on screen right I do have a DNA 40 um, I may not have a beard right now, but as you can't see me until the end, uh, you may permit and me to use The thing I like about the Mutation X's, X series that I have so far is that with these, with the two centre posts and the fact that you've got two separate channels to put your body through, there's no faffing around with the overlapping wires, um, making sure that they meet. So here the cotton's in, and as you can see, it's nicely over the airflow from the bottom. There, uh, there we are. Turn it around, Red. Turn it around. There we go. You can see it's nicely above the airflow at the bottom. Uh, let's wet the wick and get on, get on the ice stick. The ice stick set to the wattage I want. So this is this is cloud juice. Well, when I say cloud juice, that's not a brand. It's it's cloud sauce. It's juice for blowing clouds. So what I'll do now is that I'll just, if I can get it in the right place, what I'll just do is, is poke, oh, use the small one, what I'll do is I'll just poke, the wick, and rip. What I've done here, I poked the wick into the well, and I'll do the same on the other side. 
There we are. But what I make sure is that I've got wick touching the coils at both sides. So here we go. I've got wick in contact with the coils at both sides. It's more or less in the middle of the atti atomizer head. Uh, this one is going to be completely airflow, well, airflow free. I'll turn a phrase so there's going to be airflow at the bottom, airflow line, line at these the side. Up. There we go, they're lined up, they're in the holes, and let's get a little bit more juice on, make sure it's wet, nice and wet. Last thing I want is a dry burn, and let's go back to the bigger cam. Let's have a look. Hmm. That smells nice. And oh yeah, I forgot to say uh, I'm using rayon on this um, cellu cotton because uh, that's just my preferred dripper one and then normal Japanese Muji uh, for um, yeah, my rebuildable tanks, my uh, key funds for example because uh, I just think Rayon's a little bit better for the drippers, that's just my opinion yours can be different can be it probably will be so let's have a go Not bad. Nice flavoursome. I did clean it up, but I'm still getting a little bit of a fresh machine taste about it. And if you look down there, oh, I've got no light. No, I don't have enough light. But what you can do is you can drip directly down there, or take your drip, uh, or take your uh, AFC out and just top up so i know i've just had one drag on it but i want to make sure it's completely wet and what i'm going to do is uh, that was on full air airflow so i'm gonna put it uh, to six air holes plus the three at the bottom so it's like three on either side. So in theory, it should be a whole lot tighter. Yes, it is. It's ever so slightly tighter. So what I'm actually just going to do, I'm just going to use the bottom airflow. So as you can see, that's closed and that's closed. Now this should be equivalent to um, drawing on a straw for me. Hmm. Let's have another go from the side so I can look at myself in the monitor. Normally, less airflow means less clouds, but to be honest, I don't think there's much of a difference between having six of the normal uh, holes open and having none of the side air holes um, open at all, as in having them fully closed off. So, what I might try and do is go the opposite way and have the uh, whole of the sides open and all of the bottom ones closed so that means twisting 
and so everything lines up so as you can see uh, where is it you can't actually see it but trust me but there is where the bottom airflow is and I've got full airflow on the side remember this is a single coil at about 0.7 Yeah, the vapor is not as dense. Still a nice and flavorful. Um, the airflow and the direct to lung draw, which I do for these, is completely different from the version 2 that I have. The version 2 um, isn't as smooth. Um, it's as if I've got to put a lot more effort into inhaling um, I can't quite put my finger on the reason why but that's how it feels um, and it's always good to have a little bit more natural inhale even you know, but instead of being you know like as if there's some resistance so it's freer and very well designed and this is on cap now so I'm gonna come away come away go away and have a go on nickel see you in a moment